my introduction. Whoa! Woo I happen to have a few Bobby Green songs right here. <laughs> I found me a dog at the pound Six months old, silly and sad And she wiggled and piddled and licked me all over But was too scared to get in my car So I lifted her in just that once Cause I knew life had told her a lie she could take charge of the world she was born to with enough love I knew she would try she was scared to come into the kitchen wouldn't eat unless I left the room and with any loud noise she went flat like a pancake and she ate all my needlepoint pillows <laughs> but I never not once raised my voice I just bought her her own things to chew and taught her to come heel sit stay lie down fetch and to shake hands on how do you do now my car wears a permanent blanket of dog hair and she's become queen of the neighborhood park. And wherever we go, she acts like a magnet as strangers approach to make friends and remark. On the dog that I found at the pound, who's fully in charge of her world, and holds her own ground as I crash around the kitchen and eats while I stand by her bowl. And they praise me for saving her life, saying, oh, what a lucky dog she. But when I think of all I have learned about lovey, it was Molly, in fact, who saved me. The bravos are for Molly. That's a real dog. It's a real song. I think, you know, one of the things when you hear singer-songwriters is that, of course you assume that everything that we write is autobiographical. <laughs> I have a wild imagination, and I tell other people secrets, too. <laughs> but Molly is verbatim true, with the exception she didn't eat all of the needlepoint pillows, just most of them. And I've promised myself that one day when I'm rich, I'm going to take them to a needlepoint pillow hospital and see if they can be restored. <laughs> Not a chance, huh? 